Dogs, this is back to the book, dogs respect confidence, power, and authority. And by dogs, I mean all dogs. Mm-hmm. I don't care how much of an alpha role any dog is assumed, when someone comes along who exhibits those three traits to a greater degree than they, they will step aside. With the exception of the, the four the, that, I, the the four four that, that you... I've come across. <laughs> but you know, those, those are dogs that I, I can assure you that nobody on the, in the 83 million dog owner pet spe- spectrum have ever run into. You know, these are unicorns for sure. What'd you uh, do with those dogs? Um, bre- bred some of them. Um, one of them was out on the West Coast, actually, uh, as, as a working dog, just retired here not, not too long ago. Um, if I had to, to pick probably the most gifted uh, physically across the board dog I've ever come across, it was a dog that, that was out there for several years um, that came in. We put him through his first handler course. Um, then he de- deployed and did several deployments and uh, just, I mean, he's a freak. <laughs> You know, absolute freak. But um, the, the first, here's a funny story. The first time I met him, so we were running our, our handler course at Auburn University at their Canine uh, Detection Research Institute back when it was still in in, uh, in progress. This was in 2011. We brought the dog in, and uh, we were staying at a local hotel there, and it's an eight-week handler course putting the dog through. And uh, my very first introduction to him is he was staying in the room with his handler, and they'd spent some time together and had, had bond, started the bond. And uh, it was like Holiday Inn Express. They had free pizza. And uh, so, of course, I'm like, well, I'm not going to pass up free pizza. So I've got a, a paper plate with a couple pieces of pie on it. And uh, I walk into the room. And the dog just kind of cocks his head, looks at me, runs over. And literally like a dude, like a team guy, jumps up and just, <laughs> bap, just slaps it right out of my hand. And he leans down and starts eating it. And then I, I started to lean down. And he just looks up. And I, I've been around enough dogs where, like, I was like, you know, I'm just going to let you eat that. <laughs> Enjoy that pizza. <laughs> just, yeah, that one's on me, buddy. And uh, The first time I saw our dogs working, and I forget who brought them out, we were, we were doing some training. And, you know, we, it was set up, but the, the, the task unit was doing a hit in a building, and there was a guy that was going to run, a decoy was going to run. And I was out there, and, man, when they – so I see the decoy go, and you see the dog sees it, and the dog – you, you you can feel it, man. This dog is ready to murder this guy as if this is just the most insane level of passion. Mm-hmm. And he's just on the end of that thing. And the, you can see the handlers let, let, let him, letting it build, letting it build, letting it build. He pulls that quick release, bro. I was like, oh, my God. God, it yeah. was insane to watch him fire off. And he took off like 10 feet. So when he finally got, like, he's going a million miles an hour across this field. Mm-hmm. He takes off about 10 feet and just nails this guy, drags him to the ground. I was like, okay, this is a good little system to implement here. Yeah. No, I mean, from uh, the neat thing about it, I think, capability-wise, um, is that it's, you know, it's a it's a non-lethal form of yeah. of capture, you know, uh, which is obviously very valuable. Uh, the deterrent aspect, the psychologic intimidation factor. Yeah, that's a real beautiful thing too. You know, there's there's a lot of elements to, to having those dogs. There's there's just you know, it's amazing. You see it especially in, in law enforcement. Um, you know, but you'll have guys that will literally stand there with six armed officers and fight all six of them. You know, drawn on, getting tased, pepper sprayed. You throw the sixty-five pound pointier little little mound while out, and the dude lays straight down. Yeah. Like oh, I'm not messing I'm with done. that. <laughs> you know, and uh, it, yeah, it's amazing. I mean, uh, but you know, you think about it from from again from the human component of it's not natural to be attacked by an animal. You know, mm-hmm. nor is it something that most people a are comfortable with, b have ever experienced. Most people have mixed it up, especially if they're getting drawn on by six officers. It's probably not their first fist fight, uh, you know. But so, yeah, I mean that that element of it is is pretty uh, is pretty awesome. 